Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Monday, June 10th, 2019, and it's 11.41 a.m. in Rochester, New York. This is an update on my coping with schizophrenia vlog, and today I wanted to talk about mental illness, particularly schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder, and whether or not it runs in families. My mother and father had 10 children. Um, my mother had a mental illness and she was an alcoholic. My sister had a mental illness and committed suicide and I have schizophrenia. So that's three people out of 11 that have a mental illness that are biologically related to each other. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder and other disorders run in the family. Not just my family, but families in general. Um, so my advice is don't have kids. If you have a psychosis, if you're schizoaffective, if you're schizophrenic, if you have a personality disorder, if you're severely depressed, whatever the problem is, if you are spending your whole life suffering on and off from a psychotic disorder where you're hearing voices and seeing things that aren't there, or you're severely depressed and you can't seem to get out of it, even with treatment, um, why would you want to put your kids through that? I mean, it's not a 100% possibility that mentally ill people will have mentally ill children, but the risk is higher. Um, there's no doubt in my mind, my family is testament to the fact that severe mental illness runs in the family. Um, I'm not saying mentally ill people shouldn't have sex, but they should use birth control and they should not have children either by accident or on purpose because it's not a good idea to put people through something that they didn't ask for. Somebody is born with schizophrenia and they have to suffer the same way I did. No, I don't have any children either by accident or on purpose. Um, so don't have children. Um, may piss a lot of people off for me to say that, but like I said, you can't guarantee that your child isn't going to be going through emotional and mental hell if they're born with a mental illness, even if it doesn't show up right away. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was for people who hear voices, um, a suggestion, get a CD player or a radio with headphones, use your cell phone, whatever, um, and listen to music and listen to other things on your headset. If the voices are really bothering you, it will distract you from the voices. It won't get rid of them. It won't reduce them. But it might give you some respite from hallucinating, at least auditory hallucinations. Um, and I guess that's all I wanted to say right now. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section and I'll respond to them. I don't censor people and I don't block comments.